Hi again guys, I am back finally with another product review. Now the way I will be doing these product reviews is that I will be reviewing products according to brand. So I am starting with Shea Moisture and here I have five products with me and I also have two products that I have used that I don't have right now. So I'll be speaking about them. Now generally I have a criteria down that I wrote in terms of how I'll be reviewing my products because I don't want to just be rambling and talking off the top of my head. So my criteria basically, and I'm, if you see me looking now, I'm looking at this little book. Um, the first area of my criteria is the consistency of the product. So how the product is made, its consistency, its texture. I'll be reviewing it based on that, whether I like the consistency, whether it works for my hair or not. Um, I'll also be reviewing on the basis of packaging and how the product appears. Um, I will also be reviewing based on the scent of the product. And also I will be reviewing the claims that the product makes, the major claims that the product makes, and whether they really whether the product really delivers on these claims. And the last thing I will be doing is telling you where I find, how I find the product on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay guys, so the first product that I will be speaking to you about from the Shea Moisture brand is from the original line. It is the Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. And it claims that it will heal, grow and strengthen hair, right? It also says that it's for dry, damaged hair. Basically, it claims that you can use it as a leave-in or rinse-out conditioner and that it detangles, moisturizes, repairs and restores lifeless damaged hair. I have only used it as a rinse-out conditioner, not as a leave-in, right? Um, on, in terms of evaluating it based on my criteria, it is quite thick and creamy. As you can see, I have tilted it and it doesn't move easily. And my hair responds very well to thick and creamy products because of my density and the texture of my hair. Um, in terms of packaging, I love the pump bottle. That it prevents you from wasting product and using too much. Uh, I love the packaging. I love the color of the packaging. She washed as well in terms of packaging. I love the logo that they have for the brand. So in terms of packaging, I like what this product brings. The scent of the product. Now, initially the scent took a little getting used to, but I have grown, it has grown on me, and I don't mind the scent at all. It is not extremely strong, but it is a distinctive scent, and if you use the conditioner, you will take the scent. So if you are particular about scent, you might not like the scent so much. In terms of the claims that the product makes, it says that it will heal, grow and strengthen and also that it will detangle, moisturize and repair and restore hair. Right? In terms of repairing and restoring, my hair has not been damaged for the most part. It doesn't have any adverse damage. So I cannot measure the restoring and repairing claim. However, I find that this conditioner does deliver in terms of detangling and moisturizing. My hair is prone to tangles, abundant tangles, especially at the root. And in the last two years, this is the conditioner that I found has worked best in terms of assisting me with detangling. So generally, on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give this conditioner a 7.5 to 8. It does well. I still wasn't as wild as when I used my Tresemme Naturals conditioner, but it does well. It is the best conditioner that I have used, one of the best that I have used over the years since I stopped getting my hands on the Tresemme Naturals. Right? So I love this product. I will be repurchasing it. I love it enough to repurchase it because it does a good job. The next product that I have from the Shea Moisture brand, like I mentioned, is the Raw Shea Butter deep treatment mask so if you can see the packaging is quite similar this 